Hello everyone and welcome to Gastronaut's Kitchen Channel. Today we are cooking Jamaican pork stew with rice and peas. Well, there are no peas in it to be correct, but um, in Jamaica, uh, red beans, rice with red beans are called, you know, it's called rice and peas. So we'll call it that. Okay, and it's a very delicious and comforting food and it brings a lot of memories because we have been going to Jamaica so many times and spent a lot of time there, tried a lot of good things to eat as well as things that were not uh, just food. But to speak, because we are going to be talking about food primarily today, this is um, one of the dishes that is very filling, very comforting, it has a lot of spices, so it's um, very rich. And um, I want to share the recipe with you so that you spend this cold winter in the you know, comfort of your home cooking this beautiful, beautiful dish, okay? So, to start, when we are frying uh, the meat, I think it's very important to say that we're doing this because we don't want our stew to remind us some kind of overcooked meat in the soup. So we are doing this uh, nice, crispy pieces of meat that uh, later we're going to be cooking for much longer in the pot or we are using pressure cooker for it because it takes it's much quicker this way and then when you're frying in the pot and not in the frying pan it you know there's a lot less oil all over the kitchen <laughs> as you can see so let's get to it if you have any questions or comments, please write us in comments because we are going to be reviewing everything. We always answer and we do appreciate all our viewers. So here we just finished frying the meat, we are pouring all the oil out, just leaving a little bit, maybe almost nothing. Then uh, one of the portion of the onions we are going to be using for um, the stew and the second one is going to be for rice and peas. And here we are, we have some uh, residue uh, from frying meat that's nothing to be, you know, we don't need to get rid of it, it's, it's delicious stuff, it's the juice that got stuck. And right now, as you see, we're frying onions and uh, adding ginger and garlic. This stuff is coming off pretty easily, so no need to scrape or anything. It just comes off and it adds the flavor. Okay, leave some garlic and some ginger for the rice and the spices. And yes, we're doing it on the dry, not when uh, all the liquids are added so that it has a, this distinct taste of um, uh, fried spices a little bit. And then we pour in the um, chicken stock that we had. And we add some soy sauce and some molasses, meat, and scotch bonnet pepper. That's a very important piece of in this dish because it's what's gonna make it also very warm and cozy. So you, uh, we make it ourselves because uh, buying a scotch bonnet pepper. Sauce is a difficult find here, so we uh, buy simple peppers and we use tiny little bit because we don't add any vegetables to it, a uh, tiny little bit and we keep it in the refrigerator and we use it for different dishes that we make. And coconut cream and vegetables, 
mix it, flatten it a little bit, not don't overdo it, and cover it to cook. And here we're going into making rice and peas. So a little bit of butter, heated saucepan, and adding some second portion of onions that we chopped up. We don't need to make it dark, so we just need to make it translucent. We're adding leftover garlic and ginger again. some thyme and again you see we're doing it before we adding liquid to it and here we are adding two cups of rice if we soak rice you can do it overnight or you can do it for a couple of hours before you begin to cook because well you wash it first until the water becomes clear and then you soak it so that if there is any con contaminants, you know, you get rid of that during the soaking. And here we added some water and we added some uh, beans. And the beans we added are from the jar, they're cooked. And we use the liquid from the beans for the rice as well. So add less water if your beans come with liquid from the jar. Okay. Don't forget the shallots. And look at this rice. Mm. So we now turn it off because there's there was no more water in it. And just leave it like that under paper towel to get it to the ready stage. I hope you really enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to see more recipes like this.